something I was particularly excited about on this machine. Because you can see on, this, on, the, on the screen here, you have a DE and an SL setting. And the setting stands for slow. The DE stands for default. And in default mode, it's got a really quick recovery speed, fantastic separation, pretty much what you would expect out of this machine. But if you get in a site where the targets are sparse and deep, if you put it in the slow mode, that adds significant depth to the detector. I could probably demonstrate that to you right here pretty easily. You notice how that, at the same distance, DE, at that distance I virtually have nothing. SL, I have a, quite a strong signal that distance. It's a little slow recovery speed. It gathers more signal. And out in the field, this will just turn your old colonial fields right on. You're going to pull things out of the ground you didn't really think possible was possible before. It's a very, very nice tool. It's something that a lot of guys are finding out is a very, very handy tool on this particular machine. Our next setting, sensitivity. Again, defaults to 60, goes up to 99. And again, when you buy this machine brand new out of the box, you probably want to start out at 60 to get the feel for the machine, see how things sound. And as you get the feel, grow confident in the machine, you can start cranking your sensitivity up for better depth and better performance. Our next setting is threshold. And you'll notice out of the box, the threshold is set at minus 3. It's set at minus 3 because that's a very good performance setting right there. But again, like on the F75, the threshold is a very, very good tool for tailoring the machine to the particular ground I in. Again, if you go really negative on the threshold, you can actually tune out small, little tiny bits of debris that might be causing you some grief. You turn it back up, they'll come back, but you can get rid of them by turning the threshold up. Think of it as just another sensitivity adjustment on the, on the detector. If you want to enhance your response, you crank that up in the positive range. See, we're getting a little uh, interference from the fence in back of us right here. But watch when I go negative. Gone. That's another very, very good, strong tool for customizing, tailoring your machine to the surrounding uh, conditions and environment. Well, we'll go through the tone settings on this one. Again, this is, this is again very, very much like the F75. I have a single tone. It's the same type thing every time you swing over the detector. It sounds exactly the same. I go up to 1F. It's a little bit more modulated. It gives you a little bit more information on the target that's in the ground. Okay, now, if we go to 3H, Three tone, but you'll see U.S. nickel sounds just like a U.S. quarter. That enables you to dig nickels by audio alone. You don't have to watch your screen. It'll sound just like all the other coins in the ground. If you go up to three, it's a standard three tone, but nickels will produce a low tone or a medium tone. All right, 4H is just like 3H in the sense that it makes nickels sound just like any other coin. Gives you a high tone. All the coins we have sound high. Four tones, high tone for high conductors, a mid to low tone, a little higher medium tone for coins. It won't make the nickel sound like coins, but it'll give you, it expands the, the tones a little bit. The final tone setting is delta pitch. It assigns a unique sound to every target, depending on its conductivity. 58 caliber mini ball, Indian head scent, quarter. 
you can get accustomed to delta pitch it'll probably give you more audio information than any of the other audio modes but if you're a coin shooter you might want to choose 3H or 4H if you're just intent on digging just coins only a relic hunter I strongly recommend just like on the F75 you use 2F higher tone for coin or higher tone for non-ferrous objects and a lower tone for iron but you'll notice even in 2F you have a an audio modulation on the F70 that you won't see on any other machines. The F70 will give you a lot of audio cues that you simply won't find on other machines due to the modulation in the audio circuit. Two other things I'd like to talk to you about on the F70 is the confidence meter and the dirt meter. The dirt meter is roughly equivalent to the FE304 meter on the F75 in that it shows you the amount of mineralization in the soil. Like we talked about on the other machine, the ground balance or phase number will tell you the type of mineralization, but the dirt will tell you how mineralized the soil is. And over here we have a confidence meter. Again, the more segments that has, the more confident it is that it's what it's telling you it is, which is a U.S. quarter right here. Same with a nickel. Now, if we take the machine and put it on the ground over here and pump the coil over the spot, say, where we ground balanced a minute ago, You'll see, now we have a single bar in the dirt meter. That's roughly telling you the amount of ground mineralization, which here is actually quite low considering the state we're in. And again, just another valuable piece of information uh, to help you tailor your machine to the existing conditions in the area you're hunting in. Let's take a couple seconds and ground balance the F70. It's extremely easy to do. One button, 30 second operation. Turn the machine on. Let it go through its segment test. You notice at the top there's a big red button called ground grab. All you do is literally push your pinpoint, find a clean patch of ground, lift the coil off the ground, push and hold the button, by default it'll be 90, and pump the coil. Between probably about an inch off the ground and six or seven inches off the ground, and that's your ground balance value right there. Extremely easy to do, only takes seconds, and you can do this on the fly in the field no matter where you're hunting. Well, come join us, have fun, and we'll see you all in the field.